Hey guys, it's Mr. Rhymes, and I am in what is probably the coolest candy store I've ever been in. This is a video story problem that requires a little bit of homework. I want to know what the better deal is. This yard of Twix or one of the tiny little Twix bars in uh, your corner grocery store, convenience store, gas station, wherever you would pick up candy, okay? That is the beginning of a video story problem. I'd like to talk with you about how you can incorporate mathematical thinking using technology in your classroom. Now, this video was created by my friend Ben Rhymes, and he has a whole series, a whole collection of these videos to help students begin investigating mathematical ideas and concepts in the world around them. Now, the remainder of the video goes into a little more detail, gives um, some numbers that students would use to figure out and answer that question, which is the better deal. I wanna show you how you would incorporate this into your classroom. I'm gonna grab the link to this video, I'm gonna copy it, and I'm gonna go back to Google Classroom. Now, I've already kind of started this. Um, I've created a new question in my class, and I'm going to use the link tool and paste the link that I just copied in here to attach that video. Now, the question is pretty simple. Which is the better deal, the yard of Twix or an individual Twix bar from the grocery store? Now, most of the information that a student will need to answer that question is in the video. However, there are some things uh, the students will need to research. They're on a computer connected to the internet, and they have everything they need to actually complete uh, that research. Now the answer is simply which is the better deal. They're just going to say buy the Twix bar, buy the yard of Twix. However, as you can see from my little disclaimer here, the students must be able upon a request to show their work and how they arrived at that conclusion. Now my hope is that the class will end up being split. Half will say one thing, half will say the other thing, and then we can start to get into how did you arrive at that conclusion? What math did you use? What information did you find that, that drew you to that conclusion? This is how you can incorporate math into your classroom using technology, and really any classroom could use this general concept of showing or having students watch a controversial video or read an article and then using the question tool to facilitate the debate. What we're trying to do here is first, you have to make your student, each student, take a stance on the issue. Either they're going to be one, you know, for one thing or the other thing. They're going to submit that through Classroom. And you can see down here in the settings for the assignment that I am going to allow them to apply, reply to one another so they'll be able to see what everybody said. However, I am not allowing them to change their answer. So once they make a choice, They've made that choice and they have to stick with it and hopefully argue uh, successfully for whatever decision that they've made. There are lots and lots of videos already out there that you can find and incorporate into your class, or you can use a tool like Screencastify to record your own. It's very easy to do and submit those uh, to your students, post them on um, YouTube, or just save them in Google Drive. Very easy to add them here into Google Classroom.